Let's check out this 30 watt solar panel from EcoSonic Technology. If you look on the back, we got the model number, which is E30, power 30 watts, 2.05 pounds, which is around one kilo. Yeah, I brought this with my own money. I got this off Amazon. So yeah, if you're liking this review, I'll try to keep it as honest as possible, being that I paid for it myself. And um, yeah, if you're interested, you can find these on Amazon. Right, let's see what's inside. There we go. Pretty reasonably packed. Got the solar panel all wrapped up. What I like about this panel compared to others is that it has a little power hub so we can get out of the sun when we're charging our devices. It does come with a 1.5 meter cable that runs in between the solar panel and the power hub so we can really get get it out of the way when we're charging our devices very very good if you had a tent you could sit this outside the tent still use your your phones and, and ipads laptops or whatever inside the tent also comes with a smaller cable here for your 12 volt DC so it's obviously got USB-C, USB-A, Q 3.0 and a 12 volt output as well. Some carabiners, just a couple of small adapters. We have a user manual here. We do have different size panels as well and a bit of a carry bag so I'll zoom out a little bit for you bit of a carry bag let's get this unpacked and we'll have a closer look Alright, this is a look at the panel. Some stats of your charge rates and whatnot um, there. We just want to pause and have a look. But this feels really, really nice. I'll zoom out a little bit more, I think, guys. But that's the sort of size of the panel here. Feels, yeah, that feels nice. Very, very nice panel. Um, this is ATFE coating, monocrystalline cells. Um, it's got an IP67 waterproof rating. So very, very waterproof. No problems leaving this outside in the rain. No problems at all. It's got 19 volts coming straight from this port. Obviously, if you put this into the, the hub, and that will transfer that down to the 5 volts for the USB-A and then obviously your USB-C's which will be variable voltages and your 12 volt output. So yeah, does have a uh, does have overheat protection and it does have a restart as well so if this does um, a cloud does roll over and it stops charging your phone or whatever it will automatically restart once the sun's back out again so yeah very very good let's get this out very very overcast shitty day today but we'll get this out and we'll um, see if it can charge something even on a cloudy day don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content I appreciate it. Alright, we've got the panel set up. As you can see, very, very overcast, cloudy day. Not ideal to test out this solar panel, but we'll see if it still can do some work. 
Got my little power box here. Red lights on, indicating that there is some power getting into this box here. We'll plug in this phone. Hopefully it's got enough charge to charge it. And it does. So even on a real cloudy day, this is still pretty early in the morning. 10.30 as you can see here. And we are charging, which is pretty cool. I might get my um, solar watt meter out and see exactly how much power is coming out of this panel. So I'll get that out now. Alrighty, all connected up to my Ellie Joy multimeter here. See, we're getting 22.3 volts at the moment. We're going to do a manual test right now, and we're getting 2.62 watts in this um, very, very cloudy, cloudy day. So, not ideal, but we are still getting some power. I'm gonna once or hopefully today this cloud moves and we'll see what the maximum power we can get out of this. Alright guys, finally got a good patch of sun so I'm gonna do some more testing. Got it hooked up to my early joy. We'll press OK. This is just laying flat at the moment, so not in the perfect position, but just laying flat, we got 19.9 watts which is pretty decent I reckon let's try to hold this up and give it another test so I'll try to hold it up and we'll do it again sorry for the 27.52 which is very very close to the 30 watts I'll do another one, 27.9 watts, 27.97, 28.8, so as the sun's getting a little bit through the clouds a little bit more, 28.13, 28 which is yeah pretty pretty decent um, it's getting very very close to the 30 so my overall thoughts on this solar panel um, yeah I really really like it the the quality is definitely there I'm pretty happy with the quality the output getting pretty close to 30 watts which is pretty decent for solar panels um, there is probably one thing that I would improve on this is if, if this had a, a pouch at the back here so I can put all the the hub and the, the spare bits of um, cable carabiners and whatnot then yeah this will would be awesome I do I do know that it has this bag so you can probably fit everything in this bag I'm sure but um, yeah, if it had a little pouch on the back, and yeah, I'm sure you'd be able to fit your power hub and all that in the bag, which is still a pretty good idea, but if, if it had a little pouch on the back, I would really, really like that. It'd be a real clean, solid unit. Yeah, EcoSonic do have different size models. I know they've got a 10 watt, a 20 watt, this is the 30 watt in the smaller sort of portable range and then I did see that they had a 60 watt and a 100 watt panel two sort of more larger panels for their for charging your your um, solar power stations stuff like that so yeah initial pressure impression pretty decent I'm gonna be yeah using this and testing this out in the future so there may be an update later on in the future so yeah, subscribe for that, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.